Hi, I'm Gary Hall Sr. at the Race Club. Over the next three weeks, we want to talk to you about the importance of dry land training and stretching in relationship to fast swimming. This week, we're going to talk about the importance of stretching. Dynamic stretching, static stretching, proprioceptive stretching. First, we're going to define what they are and when they use them and how important they are not only to increase the mobility of your joint and the angle of rotation that you can achieve, but also to protect the joint, the muscle, and the tendon complex in the sport of swimming. Static stretching is the most commonly used type of stretching, and particularly in use of the shoulder, one of the most important joints to stretch. This is an anterior capsule stretch of the shoulder where we push with the opposite hand against the elbow, pulling the anterior capsule for 30 seconds up to a minute. We also use a similar type of stretch with the extension of the shoulder in the rearward position as far as we can and hold this for 30 seconds to a minute, improving the recovery for butterfly, freestyle, and backstroke. The dynamic stretch is where we move the joint in the full range of motion while we're swinging the arms forward and backward. And this particular type of stretch is recommended before competition. Finally, a proprioceptive stretch is used where the joint is taken to the maximal position possible, held for 10 seconds, and then released. This process is repeated four or five times, and it is purported to have the greatest ability to extend the range of motion. So if you're looking for a way to increase your flexibility of your shoulder or other joints, this type of stretching may be your best bet. Another way of stretching the anterior capsule, the shoulder, is by interlocking the forearms and putting outward pressure. The shoulders are such an important joint that we want to stretch all aspects of the shoulder. Stretching the back is also very important, particularly in the breaststroke. Here you carefully want to stretch the lumbar area by reaching up, lifting the neck back to stretch the cervical area, slowly moving from one side to the other, keeping the hips square, but allowing more flexibility in the lower spine. The hip is also very important to stretch in breaststroke by pulling up on the back leg on the ankle and leaning forward, keeping your hips square. You can stretch the hip, and in this manner, by getting on your back, rotating up onto your shoulders, one leg in front of the other, pulling on the calf muscle, you can also stretch the hip. Scissor kicks is another way to stretch the hip. By getting up on your shoulders, separating the legs as far as possible requires not only great core strength, but also stretches the hip in either direction. The hamstring is a very important muscle to stretch for the health of the knee. First, we show you how you can stretch the hamstrings by just sitting down, keeping good posture, leaning forward with your forehead, coming close to the knees with more or less straight legs. You can also stretch the hamstring by hanging, allowing the upper body to hang as far down as possible, the arms to be loose. This not only stretches the hamstrings, but also releases all the large muscles like the latissimus that attach at the lower back. Another way to stretch the hamstring is using the high hurdle stretch. First, we stretch the quadricep by leaning back with one leg forward and one leg back. And then we stretch the hamstring by leaning forward, getting again the forehead as close to the knee as possible. The hamstring and quadricep stretches are very healthy for the knee to avoid any undue stress on the knee during the starts and push up the wall. Stretching the ankles is also extremely important. This is called the freestyle squat position. And it's very important in getting increased flexibility for freestyle and dolphin kick. When you get fairly flexible, you can actually hold this position comfortably for a long period of time. To gain more flexibility, we use the freestyle squat push-up where we push off the top of our foot until we get as high as we possibly can and then revert back to the bottom side of the foot. When you start 
doing this, you won't be able to do this effectively, so you need to use your hands to support yourself as you push off the top of your foot to as high a position as possible. Once the ankle gains more flexibility, you'll be able to do it without assistance with your hands. We do a similar stretch for the breaststroke with the feet pointing out in the external rotation by keeping the hands above the head, pushing off the instep of the foot to a standing position, we not only get the added flexibility required for breaststroke, but increased strength in the legs and the core required to maximize propulsion.